I think I need to thank my leaking radiator pipes for an idea I had for making a, a body form for the sarcophagus. I was out checking on the monster mud prop and he's still kind of uh, setting up. It's mostly cured, still a little spongy in some areas, so I'm letting him uh, set up. The arms actually are pretty uh, rigid right now. A second coat of monster mud on it will really solidify it and then dry locking it will help too. But I had a, a leak spring in some radiator pipes in the basement here just pinhole leaks in the uh, pipe. And I had gone out and bought a patch kit for it. So this morning I was wrapping up the kit. You put a little epoxy in the holes and wrap it up with a resin infused uh, like gauze uh, tape, like a fiberglass tape. And the whole thing uh, solidifies. It's a temporary patch until I can get it uh, properly fixed. But while I was doing that, I was thinking, boy, that would make a great mold making kit. You could uh, wrap it around a form and uh, create a duplicate. I was like, this is genius. Just like my thinking that no one had ever put a female figure on a sarcophagus lid, I thought no one had thought of doing something like this. <laughs> so I went online and of course there's plenty of stuff out there using like plaster of Paris gauze, like the stuff you'd make a cast out of. But it's kind of pricey too, relatively speaking. Why not use the gauze? and dunk it in plaster of Paris. Mix up the plaster of Paris and just dunk the gauze in and wrap it up that way. And then you have almost like a cast. It actually kind of works. Right now I've got the, uh, I've got an arm outside uh, curing and I'm gonna do the second arm right now. I've done two different methods. One, this is a microfiber cloth. I got it from a dollar store. It comes in boxes, like 20 of, 20 sheets in a box. And I figured that this was like pretty durable and uh, it actually works really good. I also use shock cloths thinking that, you know, that might be uh, another alternative. It works. Once you like coat it in the plaster of Paris and then unravel it, it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> and you don't have a lot of time to work with plaster of Paris. It starts setting. And whatever you do, don't use warm water. <laughs> That shit cures in like a minute. <laughs> Even with using cold water with the plaster of Paris, it, it does, you only have a, a couple of minutes maybe to work with it. So you gotta work in small batches and uh, work fast. First thing I did was prepare the arm. I didn't want the plaster to stick to the arm. I'm not sure if it would or not, but I didn't want to take the chance. And I just decided to go with aluminum foil. While the aluminum foil does hold the shape, it can come off. What I am liking about this is I'm actually getting good body uh, contours here, just as they appear on this uh, mannequin. And now with that done, put that to the side, and I'm gonna start cutting up these strips. Now that one coat of the plaster has been applied to the uh, towels all the way around and it's gone in this manner, I'm going to come back over it and now put strips on going in this way. By having, by crisscrossing the patterns on it, it'll give it some more strength.
I just realized I recorded that whole, whole segment and there was no audio. <laughs> Uh, reverting to form. <laughs> to quickly recap, <laughs> the arm is still pretty damp. I think it's pretty cool, but it's still kind of damp. So it's going to take a, at least a full day. This is two layers. This one's going to be three layers. I think three layers will give it extra strength. I mean, this is pretty damn good too. And I think when it fully cures, it'll be fine. But I just think for the haunt with people maybe coming in and touching it and things like that, I think the third layer would probably be uh, good. Is when I join these up tomorrow, I'll end up putting some more plaster over the seams to put it all back together again. But once I have the plaster of Paris uh, back over the seams and it completely cured, uh, what I can, <clears throat> what I'm going to do then is to cover it all in monster mud. Can smooth it out. Can even sand it afterwards. I think I like it better than the monster mud uh, prop that I was making. So. That's out in Z. So tomorrow I'll put a third coat on this and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, rest of it. It's going to take a lot longer. The uh, legs I'm sure are going to take long. Body should probably take a, a while too to do. So if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. And if you like seeing videos like this where someone's producing something every day towards making a walkthrough haunt first walkthrough haunt this year. And let me know in the comments section below what you think of using this plaster casting uh, method. Okay, thanks for watching. All right. You can tell I got no patience for shit like that.